as you may know, or for those of you who don't, you can only control one servo motor from your uh, Raspberry Pi. So if you need more, you would have to use a servo driver board. And this is here is the PCA9685. I'm going to show you how to quickly connect this to your uh, Raspberry Pi. Um, you just need four pins. So the two of them are very straightforward. One of them is the ground and the VCC. That's the three uh, volt to your Raspberry Pi. And then the two metal ones are the SDA and the SCL. So you connect these to the Raspberry Pi as such. So these are the pins. Um, the three volt here, that's going to be the VCC. And then the next two pins are going to be the SDA and the one next to it, it's going to be the SCL. So pin one and pin three and five, uh, or technically GPIO uh, two and three. Now, of course, you're going to still need an external power for this. So this will be the external power here and there's a plus and minus sign here. So that's very straightforward. The external power because you don't want to power all these servos from the Pi. In my case, I'm just using this here to connect it here, and that's it. All right, now let's plug in the servos. What's here? So these are the channels, by the way. This is like starts from like 1 to 16, so this one can do up to 16. I think there is a 32 servo version of this, by the way. Anyway. So, everything connected now. Well, oh, power is on and crossing there's Right, let's give this a try. Um, you do need to import the uh, library that uh, for the for the driver board, and then also you need to control or send the signal to the channel that you have the servo plugged in. There you go. So it looks like this. Is 